Thank you, Manong Babi, our Masters of Ceremony, for this 13th uh, day uh, annual celebration of the Lenong Festival in the province of Ifugao. The people of Mayuyao are greatly indebted to the Philippine Historical Institute for putting a historical marker on this part of Mount, uh, Mount Magdalene to authenticate and validate the historical value of what is described as the last battle before the surrender of Lieutenant General Tomoyuki Yamashita, Commanding General of the Japanese Imperial Army in the Philippines at Kiangan, Ifugao on September 2, 1945. It is described as the fiercest battle in Ifugao and Bontok campaign. Ifugao became the last stand of the Japanese Imperial Army because of the strategic location accessible to Bontok, Benguet, Isabela, and Biscaya. It is considered as the ideal detainee, detained for the guerrilla warfare. We are, of course, indebted to the provincial government of Ifugao for institutionalizing the Lenong Festival in a provincial ordinance and providing fund or assist, uh, financial assistance for this festival. We too owe the Department of Tourism for building a concrete two-lane road to this hallowed grounds. To our guests and visitors, we have here our guest uh, of today, which uh, Vice Mayor have already uh, acknowledged a while back, but uh, allow me to uh, for me to pro pronounce it right. We have here our uh, Brigadier General. Mm, Santiago and Hinko. Is it Tama? Tama sir? And Hinko kasi yun ang kanya. Uh, and then, to all his uh, uh, followers who come from, uh, came, just came from uh, uh, Tabu, Kalinga province. And then, of course, we have here uh, uh, that means a while back, uh, Ni Apo Ker Hindi ko rin na? Well Jassel Isunat ni Mang Imat Maton EJ 54th IB Tayo, ada ito yung Ifugao And then Of course Ni Awan Sabsabali Kada tayo ni uh, Ipotao ni Apo Provincial Director si PNP si Sir Limbong Gato. then of course our uh, mm, beloved Governor of the Province of Bifuga we have here Governor Jerry Dalipog and uh, ni Apo Vice Governor Proden uh, Prudenciano and then the Apple board member, the always perfect board member of the, <laughs> of, uh, the province of Ifugao, uh, Madam Perfecta Dunuan, and then the Apple Vice Mayor, and to include the Giti members of the Sangunian Bayan of the municipality of Mayuyao and nadaman ni Dadumang 
Christiane City 11 municipalities of Ifugao. Yeah. Uh, please uh, raise your hand for recognition. And then, Amin, mga performers, hindi nagkapu, hindi gamu, mga Philippine Army, mga kakabsat tayo, always uh, join us, ever ready, uh, sacrificing their time to come here to serenade our uh, uh, Lenong Festival. And then uh, to... That's what our MC have uh, told a while back, a romantic mountain tops. Mahilig kasi. Ang mga uh, sundalo daw ng romantic. But anyway, thank you very much for always joining us. This is already a 13th uh, Uh, time sa uh, celebration kita mo uh, lahat tayo ay nagsama-sama nung previous years and even today and of course in the coming years again of uh, ma in celebrating our Lenong festivals and of course yung nang nanggaling sa uh, Kiangan yung uh, 54th IB and then Tipili the Philippine National Police Uh, Nagkapoy di Lagawi and nagiti kapulisan ti Toy. Uh, thank you, thank you very much, and all to all of you uh, who join us in gracing uh, this occasion. To the surviving widows and orphans, the brave men who have fallen here, I hope. It will not bring you tears and sorrowful memories, but rather pride and honor for your loved ones did not die in vain, but they gave up their lives to regain our freedom and independence. The final liberation of the Philippines from the Japanese commenced at the Battle of Leti Gulf, if we, could, uh, if we, if we recall our Philippine history. By that time, five regiments of the guerrilla forces of the USAFE NL, Northern Luzon, were incorporated in the United States Sixth Army under the command of Lieutenant General Walter Krugel. The northward advance of the U.S. forces towards Cagayan was met by the 103rd Japanese Imperial Army under Lieutenant General Yutaka Maraoka in the Battle of Orion, Nueva Vizcaya, but suffered heavy losses from the mechanized U.S. Army. The Japanese Im Army retreated to Santiago, Isabela, and decided to come to Mayuyao to deny the use of armored tanks and trucks of the U.S. Army to prevent the entry of the U.S. Army to complete the encirclement of General Yamashita at Hongduan. Mount Napulawan, Hinoy. Hongduan, Ifugao. So there are 3,000 Japanese soldiers led by General Togozuma together with 12 generals and one admiral. Cross the Magat River at Potyaden, a part of Mayuyao. They stayed for a couple of months at Pinto Alfonso Lista, Ifugao, where they contacted malaria and dysentery. More than 1,000 Japanese soldiers died along the way to Mayuyao of malaria and dysentery. So, 500 Japanese were well entrenched at Atotong, the tip of the mount, uh, of that mountain, the apex of Mount Nagchijan. 
200 Japanese were stationed at Galliu, that is the seat of uh, the government. Now it is the uh, municipal plaza. The remaining Japanese soldiers were scattered along the ridges of the Liwo Mountains and around the neighboring barangays. The Japanese position at Mount Nekjeden overlooking Central Mayuyao and blocked the road to Central Mayuyao. The 11th Infantry Regiment with elements from 14th Infantry composed of Filipino soldiers were commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Donald Blackburn were assigned to liberate Eastern Ifugao and Bontok but the company was centered on the Mayuyao operation. The liberation of Eastern Ifugao commenced on July 25. After a light battle at Bunhian, the F. Koi of the 14th Infantry were ordered to proceed to Mayuyao Central. The advance battalion was checked by machine gun fires from the ridges over the rook, uh, overlooking the road. Ito, oh, puna. Gawa si siya nga to. The other elements were subjected to machine gun, fire from the mountain ridges, and mortar bombardment from the Japanese garrison at Galliu. The Japanese countered attack with a bansai charge and inflicted heavy casualty on the A Company Okoi 14th Infantry. The Liberation Forces attacked the Japanese positions during the day, but Japanese countered attack with nightly bansai charges. The Bolomen and Young Boys from Mayuyao did their part in the liberation of their hometown by bringing food and ammunition to the firing line at Mount Nagchidion and carried casualties to the medical camp along the road. They cleared large areas of the mountains at Liwo, Chi Pangarna, and where the airplanes airdrop food, arms and ammunition to sustain the day and night battles. They also acted as guides to the Filipino soldiers to climb the steep mountain ridges to attack the enemy hold up in caves and fortified trenches. To break the cat and mouse battle, Colonel Donald Blackburn called for an aerial bombardment. So on July 30, the P-38 twin-bodied American bombers started bombing Japanese positions, but the bombs were ineffective due to the nature of the terrain that is too steep and rocky. So on July 31, wave after wave of B-38 planes delivered airstrike of incendiary bombs or fire bombs. More or less 100 fire bombs were dropped during wide areas of Mount Nagchidon. But the Japanese hidden in the caves and trenches held on their positions. After the airstrike, the whole element of the 11th and 14th Division attacked the Japanese lines, forcing the Japanese to retreat to the entrenched position. So on August 2, the Japanese countered attack but was repulsed, inflicting heavy casualties on the Japanese. To break this stalemate, Colonel Blackburn adopted a new strategy. The Liberation Forces crossed the Liwo River, Hichilikod, doon sa likod ng bundok, and passed through the forest, doon, opposite Mount Nagchidion, so might be that area, and attacked Chaya. Other elements proceeded to Upunan above Galliu, so on August 6, all unit attack at Otongfang 
from front and rear. The attack was successful. The machine gun nest on the apex located in a cave. To put out the machine gun nest, they decided to blast the cave. Hichi ngato. And one of our heroes, Sergeant Ramon Abalon, was lowered with a rope, tied around this, uh, his chest and lowered his lobbed two hand grenades into the cave, blasting the last machine gun nest. The Liberation Forces rushed the apex at 10 a.m. of August 7, 1945 at Mount Nagchidyan. The key to Poblacion Mayuyao fell to the elements of the 1st Koi 11th Infantry. The Japanese stationed at Gallu withdraw in force, some to Alimit, then Banawi, while others to Bontok, Bayaginihon, and Kadaklan, leaving a small force to defend Gallu at all costs. All elements of the 11th and 14th Infantry attack Gallu, the seat of the government, and at 11.30 a.m., August 9, August 9, 1945, Gallu was taken. The fall of Gallu completed the liberation of Mayuyao. And that ends the Asia-Pacific War between the Axis Force and the Allied Forces. When Mayuya was liberated from the Japanese Imperial Forces, the civilians who evacuated to the forested mountains came down to their homes and found dead Japanese soldiers rooting in their springs, the water source for drinking and cooking. They removed the dead, rotting bodies of Japanese soldiers, but little did they know that the water source was infected that caused the widespread infe infection of dysentery and malaria. More or less, 3,000 Mayuyao civilians died of malaria and dysentery. That is the second war. This is the first reported, and that is a biological warfare in the history or the annals of history of our municipality of Mayuyao had suffered the most in the aftermath of the war. So that is the history that uh, we should uh, know in this uh, today uh, Lenong Festival. But before may I end, it is, may I uh, read the uh, message of uh, Blackburn he texted to me. <laughs> Our own faith, according to him, idi nung siya ay nandito sa Mayuyaw. Our own faith was linked to that of the local population and their support was absolutely essential to our effective effectiveness. So, hindi natalo ang Im Japanese Imperial Army na nandito hindi siguro natapos ang labanan kung hindi tumulong ang ating mga for uh, ating mga ninuno, yung mga guerrillas na nandito. Kaya Thank you to our unsung heroes of Mayuyao. A lesson from this historical excerpt is that our liberty and freedom that we now enjoy today has been won at a heavy cost of thousands of human lives. And it is for the living to preserve freedom for the future generation, either 
from within our outside forces for eternal vigilance is the prize of liberty. Happy 13th, 13th Lenong of Ipugao. Matagot-tagot ako. Hagiyo. Maphod. Tao. And Ipugao. May God bless us all. Thank you.